Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that is in my everyday makeup drawer. Finally can do this video because I have not had an everyday makeup drawer for a very long time, so I finally have it. Um, so we're gonna dive in over to my vanity. I have gotten a lot of requests for a makeup collection video and I'm telling you guys that is coming, that is on my list to film. So do not worry about that. I am waiting for one more drawer to come in uh, from Ikea so I can finish with my foundations, concealers, and primers on this. So one more drawer is gonna go here and I'm waiting for a couple of other pieces as well so we can finish up the organization series and then also get into my makeup collection. But until then, we're gonna dive into my everyday makeup drawer. Now, I don't know if you guys remember from my video that I posted when I first moved into my new apartment, I told you guys that my vanity has suffered a casualty. The top glass is gone, it's missing, it completely shattered. Um, so I did order a new glass and the, I don't know when that's coming in, but we're gonna just we're gonna just ignore the fact that there's no glass on the top right now. But we're gonna get into the beautiful organization that is my everyday makeup drawer. Um, and to answer your questions about Shop My Stash videos, they are coming once everything is done. I'm telling you guys, they're coming and I cannot wait to get back into those Shop My Stash videos because I miss them so much. So just bear with me, you know, just bear with the girl. Um, but yeah, so let's let's head on over here and let's let's check out my everyday makeup drawer. So let's do it. So let's go ahead and start over here. And let's break this down. We have this side of my drawer right here. Starting with this section right here, of course, all of my blushes had to have their own section. So the first blush I have in here is my Tower 28 blush in the shade Power Hour. This is a really gorgeous, gorgeous cream blush. It's very, very stunning. And I needed this in here. More so because I needed to get more use out of my Tower 28 blushes, but I really love this blush a lot. I'm gonna do creams first. I also have my ABH cream blush in the shade Peach Caramel in here as well. When I first tried this cream blush, I loved it. It's so good. It's such a really pretty pinky shade. Very, very stunning. I also have this Made by Mitchell blush in here. You guys know the Made by Mitchell blushes are my favorite. The one I'm currently obsessed with is the shade Cherry Cola, so that's the one I have in here. Really pretty. You guys kind of will see that all of these blushes have like a similar undertone or like a similar kind of vibe. Then I have this one in here from Makeup by Mario. This one is the shade Earthy Pink. I love the shade so much. This shade's really pretty as well. Definitely gives a really pretty, pretty soft, everyday pink kind of shade and I'm obsessed with this one. Lastly for like cream liquid blushes, I have this one from Rare Beauty. This is the shade Love. This is a really pretty terracotta kind of blush shade. Lastly for blush in here, I have my Pat McGrath Labs blush in the shade Paradise Venus. You guys know this is one of my favorite blushes in my collection. It's my favorite everyday blush and a lot of these shades I pulled were pretty similar because I did need you know, a powder blush to set the cream blushes with. So this is what I ended up pulling. So let's move on to this section right here. This is where I keep my cream bronzers and contour. I have my ABH cream bronzer. You guys already know I live for my ABH cream bronzer. It is very well used, as you guys can see. This is the shade Chestnut, if anyone is curious. I have my Makeup by Mario cream blush stick in the shade Dark Deep. Really, really love this. Definitely get your hands on this if you can. It's really great, and it really gives you a nice, gorgeous, sculpted look, and 
I'm obsessed. Lastly, for cream contour, I have the Danessa Myricks Contour Balm. I have been obsessed with this. I love this. This is the shade Dark 2. This is really great. It's super pigmented. A little bit does go a long way. So tread lightly with this one, but it just blends beautifully. I love it. For highlighter, I have this Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Balm. This is probably the only loose highlighters you'll see me using because I don't like loose highlighters, but the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighters are some of my favorite highlighters. I have my one size powder foundation. You guys know I love to use this to clean up and brighten under the eyes. I think for the Sephora sale, I do wanna get a lighter shade than this. I feel like this is a good shade, but I wanna go even lighter of a shade just to have two to choose from. But this is the shade Dark One golden olive. It doesn't really look olive, but it's a nice golden shade. And let's go back here. So I just keep my Jaclyn Cosmetics Mood Light Powder in here in the shade Brilliant. And my favorite loose powder blush of all time, the Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, Loose Blushes in the shade LOML. Once again, it kind of like matches the vibe of all the other blushes I have in my everyday makeup drawer. It just fits perfectly in their little container too, which I love. You guys know I love when things fit perfectly in their spots. Let's do this back here. So I do have this blush palette in here from Patrick Ta because I'm obsessed. I love all three of these blushes. I literally cannot stop using this blush palette even this shade believe it or not i have been using a lot recently in my last videos this is the blush i'm wearing the pink shade but i'm obsessed with these two i do feel like i will definitely get these two shades in singles eventually all right so in this section right here i have all of my concealers so i have my two naked Concealers, the Stay Naked from Urban Decay. These are some of my favorite concealers in my collection. I love these so much. They are just so beautiful on the skin. They give you a lot of coverage. Okay, first of all, a lot of coverage, but it's not like a lot of coverage like the Too Faced Born This Way. This just gives you a natural finish on the skin, but it definitely does cover. So have the Good Apple Concealer in here as well to get use out of this one. One size concealer. I love this concealer so much. A little bit goes a long way with this one. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It's probably almost time to get a new one because this one is pretty old. I can't remember the last time like when I purchased it, I think I got this in a boxy charm, maybe, but that was a while back. I think I want to say in 2020, but I think it's time to use up this some more, but then also get rid of it and get a new shade during the Sephora VIB sale because we got to get a re-up on the shade. I do have the Haley's Beauty Rewind Concealer in here. I love the formula of this concealer. The shade is too dark to go under my eyes, so I try to use this as like, you know, one of those like, you know, no makeup, makeup kind of products where I use this, you know, more so on my face with the powder foundation. So I have this in here so I can get use out of it because the shade is too dark to brighten under the eyes. Let's get over here to the like complexion. So we have primers right here. I have my Makeup Forever Grayness Reducing Primer. You guys know I love this primer. It's really good. Highly, highly recommend this primer. I have the NYX Plump Right Back Primer. This is a great plumping primer. Um, it does go on like a serum, but it dries down to a more tacky kind of finish, but it's not like gripping tacky. It just kind of helps your makeup to adhere to your skin better. I have my Fenty Matte Primer in here. I've had this for quite a minute, so I wanted to use this up as best as I could. I have gotten a I've gotten a good bit out of this, but I want to use this up some more and get some more use out of it. One size secure the blur. If you haven't tried it, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? This is such a good primer. I have my Jaclyn under eye primer in here. You know, this is a good product to hydrate under the eyes. If I feel like I didn't get enough sleep or my under eyes are feeling kind of dry, I'll go in with this product. Um, I can definitely tell a difference with this product if I don't wear it, um, which is not a good thing. I love how this looks under the eyes, especially with a, with a nice full face of makeup. So when I don't have this on, I'm a little like, oh, I should have put this on. Then I have the e.l.f. Cookies and Dream Putty Primer. I love this putty primer. This one is my favorite 
out of all of them, I have a backup of this as well, but I have this in here because I'm obsessed with this primer. It's so good. It's limited edition, so I do recommend getting it you know, now and not waiting on this. The e.l.f. Power Grip is in here as well, of course. We love our gripping primers. And then I have two primer sprays in here. I have the NYX Bear With Me Primer Spray, which is one of my favorites. And then also the Smashbox Primer Water is one of my favorites. So these are my two favorite primer sprays that I have in here to help hydrate the skin and prep for primer. Let's get into my foundations because your girl has a lot up here. But as you guys can see, it's literally all of my favorite foundations in one section. Okay, so of course we have the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I needed something in here that was like natural and good for every day. So I have this one in here. It also still covers, but I love this foundation. You guys, my favorite foundation of all time, my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Literally the most flawless base ever. When I tell you it covers, it covers. So I have this in here. I have this little sample of this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation. Um, I wanted to finish this up. This right here is oh, also my favorite foundation of all time. I love this so much. I have not... Put this down this is so good i love this just as much as my holy grail huda beauty faux filter foundation this is on another level i love how this looks on the skin my base always looks so flawless it is beautiful pick this up during the sephora sale if not anything else pick this up for sure Finally, able to add this back into my, you know, my everyday makeup drawer. I took a break from this. This is actually my second bottle of this, so that says a lot about how much I love this foundation. But I will say, this is just so good. The shade is like my summer shade, so I'm I'm making it work right now. But now is the time to me to, for me to pull this back out. I love this foundation so much. This is my favorite one from ColourPop. They really, really killed. Kilt it with this one. I love it. I have the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in here as well. Also another great everyday natural foundation. We had to have a mixture in here if you guys haven't noticed. I put this in here. This one's not... I'm still like on the fence about this even though I've had this for months now. Um, but I have this in here to get use out of it because it's just sitting in my drawer. So I needed to use this some more. This one is not a foundation, but it is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I wanted to get some use out of this, so I just put this in here right next to the foundations. It fits perfectly. Well, let's dive into what's back here. So we're gonna get into the powders and, you know, palette type products. So I have three setting powders in my everyday makeup drawer. These are my three current favorite powders. Um, the Huda Beauty powder is definitely one of my favorite powders of all time. Usually I use the shade Kanafa, but I, do, I did have the shade Blondie and this is a little bit lighter. So I wanted to use this to make my under eyes even brighter and to get use out of this shade because I don't use the shade often. I use the other shade that's more like yellow. But I wanted to use this one because it's more banana leaning, but it's really, it's a lot lighter to brighten. But I love this, you guys. Highly, highly recommend. Huda also just came out with a pink powder. It's like a cherry blossom powder, and I'm so tempted to get it to try it, but you know. Hopefully she comes out with a mini in that because I'd try the mini first before I buy the full size. Then I also have the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in here in the shade Caramel. This is a good setting powder. When I tell you my under eyes look smooth like a baby like under eye it looks really good and really smooth so i love having this in here and then of course my one size translucent powder i love this always stays in here it's so good and for pressed powder i have one in here this one i haven't really been using recently so i was like you know what let me pull this back out and get some use out of it i do have a nice little dent in it but i was like let me pull this out and use this this is the charlotte tilbury Flawless airbrush, the airbrush flawless finish setting powder. I have the shade four. Then for bronzer, I have two of my favorite bronzers in here, like powder bronzers. The first one is from Juvia's Place. This is the Bronzer Duo. This is the shade Dark. Love both of these. I love this shade for like my winter shade, which is really what I've been using a lot recently because I am a little bit lighter 
um, right now. And then this is more of like my summer bronzer shade, but sometimes I'll just go in with both, but I love it. And then the other bronzer I'm using is my Morphe Supreme bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer ever. Look at the dent in this bronzer. I've had this since 2020 and I'm obsessed with this. This is actually my first ever bronzer that I bought. I never wore bronzer, but this was my first one I bought at the Morphe store in California. And this holds a very special place in my heart because once I bought this and I started using it, I was just obsessed and I was hooked that this was actually showing up on my skin. So this is just, I love this thing. It's very sentimental to me. And then I have my Get Lit Highlighter Palette in here from Tatiana Nisa Cosmetics. This is my baby, so yes. This is in here, really gorgeous, stunning, love her. Lip products, so your girl got her lip product right here. I have all of my current favorite lips in here, so I'll tell you guys the brand and the shade name. So this is Juvia's Place Sis Gloss. Let me swatch this for y'all because this is my favorite gloss shade from Juvia's Place. If you guys are looking for a good gloss, a good nude gloss, the shade Sis Honey is that girl. It's that girl. She's that girl. I have my Fenty lipstick in here in the shade Major Magate. Love this for every day. You guys are gonna see these are more of like my everyday lipstick shades. I have my uh, ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF4 and my Jaclyn Lip Liner in Bold Brew. This is like almost done. I'm obsessed with this one, but I have backups, so not to worry. I have a clear Juvia's Place gloss. I have my Huda Beauty Silk Balm. I have my two Mario Plumping Lip Serums, my two favorites at the moment, Mocha Glow and Bear Glow. This is a really pretty nude. If you guys are into that, it's really pretty. Then I have my Jaclyn Cosmetics Lip Oil in the shade Rose Drip. I have backups of the lip oils too. And then I also have a lip mask from e.l.f., the Jelly Pop Luscious Lip Mask. I love this. It's so good. That is my everyday makeup drawer. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my everyday makeup drawer and got a little bit of the gist of the makeup that I have been loving. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.